When white light is refracted, it turns into separate colours. This is called dispersion. Hello everyone. I recently got my hands on these Baby University books by Chris Ferry. I've got Optical Physics for Babies, Quantum Computing for Babies, General Relativity for Babies, and Rocket Science for Babies. There's also Quantum Physics and Newtonian Physics for Babies, but I haven't got those ones. As it says on the back of the book, Chris Ferry is a physicist, mathematician, and father of four budding young scientists. He believes it is never too early to introduce small children to big ideas. Yes, 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 I could not agree more. These books are fantastic. They have bright, colourful, simple pictures portraying the concepts. And interestingly, they don't shy away from using words like refraction or dispersion. I think both kids and parents are going to get a lot of valuable ideas out of these books. But, like me, you might be wondering how effective they actually are. Can you really teach a baby general relativity or quantum physics? Well, no, probably not. I'd be ecstatic to be proved wrong, but I don't think anybody is going to know quantum computing at the end of this book, even if you read it to a child many times as they get older. To get the most out of these books, the parent needs to already understand what is being taught, and so help to continue what the book starts. For example, I think a parent should point out that this is what a mirror is doing, or take the kid outside and show them a rainbow. Parents who don't know enough about general relativity or quantum physics should go and Google bits of the book so that they know when and where to extend the ideas beyond what's shown in the book. I think the main value of these books is that they are exposing kids to these terms and ideas at a very early age. And so as the kids go through life experiencing the world around them and then learning about the sciences that build on these topics later on, they have a head start over other kids who haven't been introduced to these terms or haven't seen these diagrams before. It is never too early to start teaching kids anything. Around the world, quantum mechanics and general relativity are starting to be taught in high school, not just at university. And there's also a push to start teaching the key concepts of these theories in elementary or primary school. These books cover the sciences that our modern world is built on, and that scientists and engineers need to master in order to continue human progress. Holding these ideas back from kids until they're adults holds back education and research and society. These books are part of that change. As Ferry's co-author Worley says, all children are scientists at heart and the key to our future. It only takes a small spark to ignite a child's mind. Where are you going? Don't you like optical physics? Would you prefer quantum physics? <laughs>